This is Hunting for Purple Street Lights in Kansas City, video 180, Exhibit A. We're looking at a purple street light here. Looks like we got let's see, five plus four or three. Seven plus five, twelve. Twenty-one, twenty-six, about thirty of them are blue on this thing, I think. So, yep. So this is actually a little bit bluer than the other two that are down there. I guess we can't really see from here very well. I guess we could try zooming in and exhibit G for video 179. Anyway, those are like about 20 a piece or so, if I remember right. But we just have one that's like 30 here. And this is at Santa Fe. And Normandy. And now we're going to go down there to a point where you can't even see that it's purple over there. Because they're in dead ends right next to Santa Fe. Alright. So. I'm not going to stop. That's the moon, by the way. Um, pretty much a full moon right now. This is my car over here. I'm being recorded here now. I'm turning this around, turning it back. It's at 2710 on here, but it counts backwards. I can do for a bit. On here it's 459. The map of where we are, we are right. We were just right there. And I walked back up to here. Oops, sorry, walked back down to here. We looked at these three in exhibit G and I F and then E and so on below that. Um, I suppose we could look at this one real quick because we're actually pretty close to it. I think this one is still there because of the trail and people being able to leave maybe. Or maybe taking the trail and taking a shortcut and going up or something like that. I'm not sure. But if it's for wind, something to start with, it's probably going to spread out before it drops on that. And then it will blow with the wind probably. So if you look at groups of them, they set it up on purpose in my opinion. Um, by the way, we'll eventually look at these. Two of those are light colored, or are not very purple. One of them I think is like purple. Alright, so I'm going to stop this video.